Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be doing some more practice problems with calculating the amount of work to pump the water out of a tank. So this problem says a tank has the shape of an inverted circular cone with a height of 10 meters and a base radius of 4 meters. It is filled with water to a height of 8 meters and we have to find the work required to empty the tank by pumping all of the water to the top of the tank. So the first thing we have to do is draw out our diagram. So here is our circular inverted cone. It has a height of 10 meters and we also know that the base radius or the radius from here to here, so that radius is the same as 4 meters. The second step is to place our x and y axis. So remember, you have to place the x-axis at the top of the shape and you have the y-axis running down like this where the y-direction, the positive y-direction, is pointing downwards. So this point will be considered 0 or the origin and this point will be 10 because the height from here to here is 10 meters so the point here, it will be 10. We know that the tank is filled with water to the height of 8 meters and 8 meters, that would be from here to here, right? So this means that this point will be 2 because 2 to 10 is 8 meters. That's the difference between this distance. So that's why this point will be 2. The question asks us to empty the tank, which means that we're going to pull out all of the layers of water. So there are many, many, many layers of water between 2 and 10. And let's say this is just one layer of water. I'm not going to draw out all the layers of water or else it's going to look very messy. But basically the idea is that for every single layer of water like this one, we're going to pull it to the top of the tank, right? And we're going to do this for every single layer of water. And that's basically how we empty this tank. So the distance that we pull this layer of water to the top will be considered y. So the formula that you want to use is w for the work is equal to the integral from the top to the bottom of density times distance times area dy. So what's the top and what's the bottom? Well, the bottom is right here and the top is right here because we want to empty the tank from 2 to 10, right? So the bottom will be 10 and the top will be 2. How about the density? Well, if you look at this table, the problem has given us the length in meters, so the work will be in joules, and the density will be 9,800. The distance is y, as mentioned before. How about the area of the layer of water? So if you look here, this is a circle, right? which means that the area of that layer of water is equal to pi times the radius to the power of 2. So this is pi times the radius to the power of 2. And the radius is from here to here. That's the radius. And the distance from here to here is x because it is horizontal. So instead of r, I'm going to write it as x. So this is equal to pi times x to the power of 2. Since the equation, or rather the formula, is dy, we have to change all of our variables into y. So let me show you how to do that. Now if you look here, this is a line, right? That looks like a line. So you can use what you learned in high school to find the value of y instead of x. Now this point right here, this point will be 4, 0. Why is it 4, 0? Because the distance from here to here is 4, which means the distance from here to here is also 4. So this is 4, the height is 0. And how about this point right here? Well, that point is 0, 10. Because the x value is 0 at the origin, and the y value is 10. And notice that 10 is a positive number because we're saying that this direction is positive. You know, it's better to work with positive numbers than numbers that are below zero, right? Now, we can use these points to find the slope formula. 
and these two points are let me write them out here for 0 and 0 10 so the slope the slope m is equal to 10 minus 0 and 0 minus 4 10 minus 0 is equal to 10 0 minus 4 is negative 4 we can simplify this into negative 5 over 2 now our equation will be y is equal to negative 5 over 2 times x plus b and we're going to substitute this point let's say this point right here we're going to substitute this point into our equation so we substitute y is equal to 10 and then x is 0 so 0 times 5 over 2 will be 0 itself plus b this means that b is equal to 10 right because this means that b is equal to 10 so we're going to delete the b and replace it with number 10 let's solve for x so i'm going to add to both sides we get y plus 5 over 2x is equal to 10 we subtract both sides by y we get 5 oops let me write a little bit below that so 5 over 2x is equal to 10 minus y and if we multiply both sides by the reciprocal or 2 over 5 we get x is equal to 2 over 5 times 10 minus y so that's how you find x so we're ready to put it into our area equation we're going to get i times x and x is equal to this right so we just put in 2 over 5 times 10 minus y and now notice that here is x to the power of 2 so don't forget the power of 2 up here let's simplify this so we get pi times 4 over 25 4 over 25 times 10 minus y to the power of 2 let's evaluate this integral so what is 9800 times 4 over 25 i put into the calculator and it gives me 1568 so this is equal to the integral from 2 to 10 this is 1568 and don't forget the pi over here so this is pi times y times 10 minus y to the power of 2 dy and since this is just a constant let's go ahead and move it outside of the integral so we get 1568 times pi times the integral from 2 to 10 and here we have y times 10 minus y to the power of 2 dy now what is 10 minus y to the power of 2 let's find out so we have 10 minus y to the power of 2 this is the same as 100 minus 20 y plus y to the power of 2 so let's go ahead and put this into our integral And if you look here, we can also simplify this by multiplying this whole expression with y. So we're going to multiply each term with y. We're going to get 100y minus 20y to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 3. This is equal to 1568 times pi times the antiderivative of 100y so the antiderivative of y as we know is 1 over 2 times y to the power of 2 right so if we multiply this together we are going to get 50y squared minus the antiderivative of 20y to the power of 2 well that's just going to give you 20 over 3 times y to the power of 3 and the antiderivative of this one is pretty easy it is just 1 over 4 times y to the power of 4 and we have the limit it goes from 2 to 10 and we can go ahead and close that bracket right there
So it is pretty simple from here and all you need to do is substitute in these numbers for the upper bound and lower bound into the equation and after you simplify it, you should get 1568 times pi times 2048 divided by 3. So that's what I have. After I put this into my calculator, I get 3, 3, 6, 2, 8, to seven point seven nine seven, and this is approximately three point four times ten to the power of six joules. Because remember, the unit here is joules according to the table, and so this is the same answer as the textbook. So this number right here is the amount of work that it takes to empty this entire tank.